The probably inaccurate story so far. Three months ago, the alchemist that lived in this house was murdered. And now we've got a situation of our own. I'm guessing Phoenix is the one speaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now we've got a situation of our own. That's the entire story so far. A situation is happening. Okay. <laughs> okay, alright. I, I guess it sums things up. <laughs> Ellipses! Ellipses! Ellipses. Ellipses? Right, that's, that, that, that's our reminder of everybody's voices. <laughs> I was about to get ready to leave, but it seems I need for further questioning. Wait, were, were we past this? Has this put us back a little bit? Testify once more, witnesses! Well, I guess we'll know from the testif testifications uh, whether we've done this part or not. Tell us of the golden statue of the Talia Magica! Witness testimony. The golden statue and the scepter. I was only focusing on the professor, so I don't remember much else. Helpful witness. <laughs> I don't know how I got there last. Besides that thing was glinting and glittering away so I couldn't see much else. Helpful witness. <laughs> Bewitched by love or beloved by a witch the poor cove knows not which is which. Helpful witness. Oh, dear to me, I remember. How obvious it seems now. The staff was dropped before the statue fell over. Well, <laughs> let's find a hole in that testimony. Whoa, wait a minute. What you all just said just now. It's totally different from your previous testimonies. <laughs> Come on, Phoenix. You know how this works. Everyone changes their testimony 100% every single time. You Come on. You know this by now. <laughs> so, Blue Knight, you're starting to notice it now, aren't you? That is the way of magic, such as the effects this black art tends to have upon those who witness it. Oh, of course. So they're not lying. They're just, they're just, uh, you know, ob obviously she's a witch. Basically. <laughs> These witnesses are not lying, but simply having trouble remembering the truth. What a convenient excuse. Confronts you with magic, their brains turn to mush, huh? Ever since our ancestors drank from the fountains of wisdom and obtained the capacity for reason. Is that how it happened? Is that why we have logic in our world? <laughs> Alright, I'll, you know, whatever, this is, this is no canon. <laughs> Witchcraft has been the one thing to remain incomprehensible, even to the most intelligent of us. Nevertheless, the onus is on us to stand against magic and pass judgement on these witches. And so here we are. Doing battle with the weapons of the wise. Words. Oh, that's funny. I thought the weapons of the wise were swords, because, you know, you, you swinging your sword around all this time. <laughs> with words, we shall pass judgments upon this supposed witch. Defend you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross-examination. Let's do this thing! Basically, let's just set, shout hold it a whole lot and see what happens. I was only focusing on the professor, so I don't remember much else. Hold, hold it! it! You lying scumbag! I, I don't know. <laughs> are, you, are you a lying scumbag? I don't know. You, you just look. You said you said before that you heard the steps fall to the floor. And that was after the professor fell over. Uh, el ellipses. I thought so. I, I mean, I thought so before, but now... The more I think about it, the less certain I am that I actually heard it. How could I be paying attention to anything else when the professor was... When he was... <laughs> when he was looking so fabulous. <laughs> My memories for everything else are too fuzzy. Oh, poor Luke. Yeah, that... So pretty much... Pretty much Luke's job as a witness is pretty much over. Like, all the information we can get out of him, it's just done. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luke, I understand how hard this is for you. Okay, that got us absolutely nowhere. Helpful witness! 
I don't know, I got their last size. That thing was glitch glinting and glittering away, so I couldn't see much else. Hold it? Hold it! <laughs> and that thing would be... Oh, come on, Phoenix. You, you Pay attention, man. Pay attention, man. They have that shiny gent next to you, Bluey. Why has Leighton come up? Like, who brought Leighton over here? Like, Leighton was in the middle of the room before. Now so someone's just picked him up and brought him over to the defender's desk for some reason. I don't know who did that. Oh well. And you didn't notice the scepter on the floor. You know, I wasn't even looking at the floor. My eyes were kind of glued to me new source of income. If anything, I may have looked up at the ceiling, since that's where it was pointing. I just keep his A info me into my pocket it went. <laughs> Helpful witness. So is this basically saying that his role's done? Yeah, pretty much his role's done. Bewitch find love or beloved by a witch, the poor cove knows we're not which is which. Can we get a translation on that please? Because <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's, let's get a translation. I shall simplify it once more, just for you, esteemed knight of the court. First of all, let's talk about love. It's a... No, let's not. <laughs> okay, someone's just dinged. First of all, let's talk about love. It's a pretty neat slant rhyme for cove. A cove is slang for a chap, you see. Oh, I don't understand all this rhythmic rhymings. Uh, who dinged? Oh, uh, Emiya's dinged. <laughs> Lou just looks terrified! <sighs> Please don't kill me! Okay. <laughs> I know everyone in this courtroom has got swords, but seriously, you don't have to look that terrified. Emiya! What's going on? What's up, what's up dude? <laughs> he seems to be pondering something very deeply. Your drink appears to have exploded. <laughs> you probably shouldn't drink things that explode. You caught me unawares there, Bluey! Is something in Mr. Birdley's statement to catch your attention just now? Nah, nothing particular. I was just thinking. That's a, that's the first. That bad song really got to me. I really kind of feel it in my heart. Helpful witness. <laughs> I appreciate your appreciation of my art. You know, I meant to ask you something. Why don't you become me private but <laughs> Is this really the time for this? <sighs> then again, that would be a pretty easy job to think about the heroic life of a mere punching bag the first, since, you know, that basically doesn't exist. Things are opening at the bottom of the screen. Notifications, let's just disable those. I could gladly sing of your adventures if it pleases you, kind sir. Isn't the pawn shop guy going to demand his money back? I don't think you have the money to be hiring a guy like this. <laughs> oh, Grant. Some guy punching bag the first. Will you, Fortune, quench your thirst? Having bravely filched the golden arm. Now you've duped the pawn shop man. man. That... <laughs> Oh god, the noise! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Arm and man do not rhyme in any context. Uh, terrible. Oh yeah, very poetic. <laughs> oh god, I, I, I can I pay you to go away, please? Your drinking manner is quite inspiring, but whatever is that skull bottle hiding? I, th I feel like I'm losing control of this te of this cross examination very quickly. So we've learned nothing useful at all. Just that Amir has questionable taste in music. <laughs> Sometimes it's best not to probe too deeply, Sub Blue Knight. <laughs> well then, let us just proceed. We heard none of that. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right, that never happened. It's okay. Never happened. So what is this last piece of testimony? Dear me, I remember how obvious it seems now the statue was dropped before the statue... The staff was dropped before the statue fell over. 
Okay, the only actual helpful comment in this entire testimony, the one that we actually have to prove is a contradiction. <laughs> but you haven't said anything about that until now. Well, that could have been helped. How so? Yeah, I know everyone, this is well. Pencils in hand, be sure to take notes. Miss Primstone's lesson number four. Are we really up to four? Oh, well, whatever. Memories are not always pretty. Something to better forgotten. Trying to remember them only leads to trouble. This will be in the exam. Yes, trying to remember details will only lead to trouble in court. Pretty much true. <laughs> You're saying the victim fell over and his arm broke off after the scepter was dropped, are you not? Correct, well done. And so the contradiction is no more. Objection. But that's inconsistent with all the previous testimonies. Objection. Yay! A nice objection war. We've not had one of those in a while. You're quick to forget what I've told you, Sir Blue Knight. The witnesses are not lying. They are merely having trouble remembering the truth. Oh yeah, of, of course. You've got you've got a nice convenient thing to blame everything they say on now, haven't you? It's no use. These guys aren't making any sense. Uh, so that's the end of the cross examination, and now I've got to present something somewhere. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> what Inquisitor Barnum said must be true. They've been confused by magic. A speller. We always try to make sense of what we see. So when what we see makes no sense, we lose track of what's real. Uh, <laughs> I guess that makes cross the yeah, well, a little pointless. <laughs> At least when everyone here believes it's so easy to get confused by magic. But we need to do something or else Mario we don't fall. I'll listen to the witnesses again and try to find something we can use. Oh, good lord. Okay, I think I need, I need a reminder of what we've actually got. <laughs> So none of the testimonies changed. We have a case outlined. Uh, behind the painting, the wall behind the painting of the crime scene has been painted green. Did we actually mention that? Huh. I didn't realise that that had actually come up as a fact in court yet. Or maybe it's not come up as a fact in court, it's just sitting there in the evidence to be to, waiting to be relevant. We have a floor plan. Uh, fair enough. Like if the if the arm really did fall second, then yeah, I can see no contradiction with Italian Magica being there. Then again, I couldn't really see a contradiction with Italian Magica being there in the first place, but for what, you know, details. We have the Talia Magica, which has Goldor and Formalia. And we have Professor Layton arm reattached. <laughs> Oh, that's that's nice. I'm glad he's had his. I'm glad he's got his arm back. So what else is there? That thing was glinting and glittering away, so I couldn't see much else. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Let's move on from there as fast as possible. <laughs> and staff was dropped before statue fell over. That seems like the one I need to present something to, but. It's probably gonna rely on like a stupid detail from like ages ago, and obviously since it's been a while between recording sessions, I can't remember anything like super minor. Uh, I wonder if Birdly was gonna say anything if I don't interrupt him. Uh, whereabouts was it that we interrupted? Uh, oh yeah, they, okay. This is the one. Where, this is the one where people interrupted. Yeah, Amir, I'm gonna ignore you for now. Then we have the word "witch" and its homophone "witch." <laughs> Next, we have the delightful consonants of "beloved" and "bewitched." It is ultimately a song about confusion. Okay, somehow I, somehow I think this was this was clutching at straws. <laughs> uh, I think. I, mean, I don't know. This is new dialogue, so I guess it's worth having a look at. 
To be honest, there's nothing more to it. It's merely an artistic expression of my feelings. So it's got nothing to do with the case, does it? I am a well of melodious words and poetic music. That is my only claim. <laughs> oh, dear, dear me! Oh, wait, that was... That was Luke. <gasps> oh my god, is Luke not done being a terrible witness? Uh, okay, so, like, if this doesn't r return any... Uh, anything pro promising, then I guess I can do the same thing again and ignore this one as well. Okay. So, interrupting everything with questioning, not always the winning solution. Hidden puzzle! Ah! Ah! The sound of the klaxon! The hidden puzzle! The warning lights must be turned on! Ah! This is the first time in the entire game that thing's not been zero. <laughs> sound of the klaxons! <laughs> 